Right then, people. Well, today you join me for a quick job on the BSA. The old bees are sat down there. And what I'll be doing is changing the halogen bulbs in the uh, headlights and the rear light for LEDs. Now, this is a follow-up from a video recently whereby I kind of broke down at the side of the road. Turns out it was due to the current and I was probably drawing too much too much down on it. So I've changed the battery, it hasn't happened since, but I was, birds, ignore them. I was riding with the lights on. And people always tell me, oh, you've left your lights on as soon as you stop. And I'm like, is it that much of a problem? Apparently so. So I bought these, I think it was, we've well, got the bill here actually, 57 pound 95 for a uh, headlight stop tail, pilot, and speedo. So we've got the full lot, and this is from a guy called Paul Goff, who was very helpful, and he's from a company called, I did have it down here somewhere, Norbsa. Yeah, www.norbsa02.freeuk.com. Didn't know we were uh, under siege. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do today, and literally the kit is that big. So yeah, bear with me. I end up using my other bikes as bloody stands. So, oh, what can you see there? I hope the lighting's not too bad. I've got the door open, the, the headlights, the uh, LEDs flicker a lot, so. You might have noticed, I've just clocked myself in them. I've got some proper clothes on for once, rather than my bloody scruffs. It's literally all I wear when I'm outside. Full of paint and all sorts. So, that'll be enough for that. It's one of my favourite t-shirts. for that. So, ooh, let's do it before and after. You know, yes. High beam. Not too bad. And then normal. And brake light as well. So again, probably goes without saying, but when you do place your orders, if you do use that guy. Need to make sure you've got the earthing right. He assumed I was on 12 volts, and I'm on. Sorry, he assumed I was on 6 volts. I'm on 12, and he assumed uh, the wrong earthing as well over the phone. So we sorted that out. Come on. There we go. So, uh, firstly, I don't know how well you can see there. I'll try it this way. Hopefully that works. So firstly, we've got this little old contraption, and then this one literally just pulls out, nice and easy. And we've got, ooh, funky. So look at that for a, a comparison. The light's shit in here, isn't it? So there's a little cutout somewhere, there it is. And it don't bloody fit, look at that. Oh, you have to thumb it in. I've done that before. So that's that one. There we go, there we go. Oop. Come on. This one's a little bayonet type. Old. Now this is interesting, I've got two here. I'm not sure which, I'll put the light on. I did try and avoid that because it'll flicker. But I've got two here, I'm not sure what the difference is. It look the same from that. I'm assuming. 
We'll go with this one first. I mean, unless we're just kind of guessing here. It's a bit. So I'll try that for now and then the speedo one in here. It's got to be that. I think the speedo one is the it's the shorter one because it's, it's going to bash into something. It's just very hard to press that down. We're all switched off, aren't we? Probably should have disconnected the battery. Come on, there we go. One, two, three. Right, so they all seem to work. Let's put that back in there. And this will be the first time in a while that a job has gone to plan without any mishaps. Touch wood. Ow! Look at that. Happy. Oh. Hey, I tell you what. They actually look quite good. When I was younger on my cars, I used to quite like the white look rather than the yellow lights. And I was quite happy with the retro style on this, but not not exactly complaining. Let's do a bit of a test with the front then. To be fair, I knew that was going to happen. Right then, so time for the rear. Look at that. Come over this way, because. You couldn't write it, could you? Your screwdriver's too big. Very good. Oh, why is it so on? Okay. And that's it. Simples. I can't see him upside down. The silly thing is as well, I don't know why, but I've been putting this job off for weeks and weeks. It, it, I knew it was only going to take a few minutes. difference so if you're interested what I'll do is that before this video finishes I'll uh, before I upload it I'll try and do a little ride outside at night and uh, see how it 
Yeah, yeah. Um. Now that's interesting. I think possibly, and I'll just double check, I think the switch is re reversed for high beam and low beam. If you look over here, forward, the way I remember it, forward is normal. So forward should be a low beam. Forward was low beam before. And then I go to the uh, backwards, and it takes the edge off it. So I think that'll be a bit confusing. I think the, I think it's reversed. Unless I wonder whether I could turn the LED round in the in the bayonet fitting. Yeah, because that's 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 intense. That is. That's got to be normal, and that's on the main switch. shouldn't make a difference either way that one. Right, I'm just gonna try that the other way around now. So thanks for watching guys, that was just a quick video, um, it's all sorted now, so rear brake comes on, front, and then for some reason opposite of what it used to be, forward is now the high beam, and backwards is the low beam. I'm not sure whether it changes the angle like the other one did, but it, it certainly decreases the intensity and then you, you speed all that's there, so back on that. There we go. So I'll do a quick ride in a couple of days uh, when it gets dark and um, show you what it's like on the road and then yeah, you can make your own mind up as to whether you do it yourselves.